Hey guys, uh, welcome to your Mercury Retrograde reading for Capricorn. Uh, this is the Mercury Retrograde that's occurring on January 14th to February 3rd. Uh, we are going to take a look at what's surrounding you guys, what you guys need to know, what you guys could expect during this time. You could apply this to any of your sign placements, apply this to your own unique situation. Keep in mind, you could switch the roles if you want, if there's more than one energy that's coming up in the reading. Um, also, uh, this could be in anything. This is nothing specific. So we're just going to see what the cards pick up. Um, so uh, keep in mind, this is uh, just a general reading. Take what resonates, leave the rest behind. Uh, if this message didn't resonate, take, uh, take a look at your other placements. If you guys haven't done so yet, hit the subscription button and the notification bell so that you guys get notified on when my new videos post. Give this video a thumbs up, like this video so that this message can circulate around to the individuals that need to hear this. Share this video with someone if you feel like there's someone out there that you know that needs to hear this. And leave a comment down in the comment section below if this message resonates. And for those of you guys that are interested in booking a private personal reading with me, the link is in the description box below. All right, so let's get started, Capricorn. Tell me about Capricorn. What can Capricorn expect for this Mercury retrograde um, uh, that's occurring on January 14th to February 3rd? What does uh, Capricorn need to know? What can Capricorn expect regarding this Mercury retrograde? We're just gonna start with the Oracle and then we'll get into the Tarot, okay? Okay, so we have I'm not going to take those. So let's see what I'm going to do here. Let's see. All right. We have don't let your past hold you back. We have you and your loved ones are safe. This is maybe regarding an ex here or something like that. You know, you could apply this to your own unique situation. Could be a thing where it's time to let someone from your past go and just wish them well, that wish that they're doing okay. Expect powerful changes. So we have cancer energy. Um, could be dealing with a cancer in and around you, past or present, or maybe in the future, a tough cycle is ending. Capricorn, that's your energy right here. You could be dealing with another Capricorn. Okay, so I feel like perhaps you're leaving the past behind. And, you know, these loved ones, you know, like I said, it could be, a, a, you know, you know, a loved uh, a person uh, that you were dating or that you were in a relationship with. It could be a friend, a family member, uh, you know, maybe it could be a work situation. Okay, uh, or it could be some traumatic experiences that you were holding on to or that you're still holding on to that you're trying to let go or move on from. What else do we have for Capricorn here? There's definitely some sort of hurt, some disappointment surrounding this for sure, regarding uh, your past here. All right, let's see. Oh, we have an extra message. We have the Nine of Swords. You know, I feel like you've had a really hard time with this. I feel like you've been trying to escape from this, trying to run from this, or trying to sweep it under the rug, but I feel like you're really trying to deal with this. I would not be surprised that, you know, with the Five of Cups and the Nine of Swords that uh, you might have been drinking a lot so that you could fall asleep. Uh, we have the, um, the like, almost the Chariot, uh, Seven of Wands, okay? So the Seven of Wands is the energy of, of overcoming, you know, but it also could be an energy of pushing something away, pushing something away that's good for you, all right? Let's see what we have here. What else do we have for Capricorn? Okay, we have the Moon, Cancer, Pisces energy. Could be dealing with the Pisces here. You might have Pisces in your chart. And then we have the Two of Wands. You know, the fear of letting go is holding you back. I feel like if you let someone go, for example, uh, I feel like you won't do, they won't do well or that they will get into some sort of trouble. That's on them. That's not on you. 
expect powerful changes. Oh, we have the Hierophant here in the reverse. Taurus energy. Could be dealing with the Taurus. You may have Taurus in your chart too, Capricorn. And then the Three of Pentacles. Okay. And the Five of Wands. There's a lot of conflict here. I feel like someone here doesn't have faith that something would change because of all these past issues. I just feel like someone here feels like, you know, nothing is going to go well. Nothing's ever going to go smoothly. Yeah. What else do we have here for Capricorn? Five of Pentacles. You know, I feel like Capricorn, I really feel, feel like you've been through a lot. Five of Cups, Five of Pentacles. You know, you could have had financial issues here. You could have lost a job, lost a home or something like that. And you couldn't pay rent, couldn't pay for food. You have the Chariot. You know, if you're getting out of this, I feel like there's this energy of fearing that you might go back to that again or that you might fall back into that again. Uh, chariot cancer energy but you're moving away from this you're making a decision to leave all that stuff behind and really focusing on your own cups here your own fulfillment your own joy um the moon queen of swords yeah you see you've been through a lot capricorn i feel like you've been through a lot and your guards up You know, this is the energy of also not caring either and just taking care of yourself. Not, you know, not that, you know, in a harsh way, but uh, not caring for others uh, in a harsh way, but you're just more focusing on yourself. You know, there's this energy of keeping a lot to yourself too, because I feel like you're, you're having a hard time expressing your pain here. Maybe you're having a hard time expressing your pain on how, uh, you know, someone from your past it could be, you know, an ex, a partner, uh, you know, a friend, a family member has hurt you. All right, the Hierophant in the reverse. Page of Cups. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. And then the Eight of Cups. You know, I feel like you're ready to walk away from this Capricorn, but I feel like you shouldn't because I do feel like this tough cycle is coming to an end and there's going to be some big changes coming your way. Big changes. And yeah, I just feel like, you know, I feel like you're about to give up on this, uh, you know. So let's see. What else do we have here? We have the Four of Swords. We have the King of Swords, okay? The Four of Swords and the King of Swords here. So this could be the past person here that has hurt you. This person's disengaged from you. This could be a relationship here. Yeah, this could be a relationship that you're having a hard time letting go. It seems like maybe this person disengaged from you. This person could have taken from you, you know, taking your security or something like that. You know, taking your energy, your time, your emotions. You have the Seven of Swords. You know, I feel like you're, even though this person might have treated you in a crappy way, I feel like you still protect this person. Yeah, I feel like you still protect this person. Let's see. With the Eight of Pentacles here. You know, Capricorn, I feel like you know, you could be in this energy of just, you know, not dealing with things and just focusing what you have to do and just sort of getting by. We have the Ace of Wands here. I do feel like things are going to get better. There's going to be some sort of new beginning, a big change here for you. I just feel like you just have to continue to truck through. Uh, we have the Knight of Wands here. Yeah, don't give up. Just go for it. Yeah, there are big changes coming your way. 
Yeah, I feel like you might be getting out of this like devil energy that you've been stuck in for a while or these unhealthy attachments that you've had with people or things or or anything like that. Really, I, I do feel like things are going to lighten up. I feel like things, I feel like you will be happier here. You will be happier here. So... Yeah, look at the bigger picture. Hard work is paying off. You know, maybe you feel like things are not changing or progressing, but, you know, there is progress here. You know, even though it's not happening as fast as you want it, there is definitely progress here. I do think, like, things are going to take off really quickly once you get past that hump. Okay? So, Capricorn, I hope this was helpful. I hope this resonated. If it did, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Share this video, like this video if you haven't done so yet, subscribe, hit the notification bell. I will speak to you guys in the next one. Thanks.